Hello and welcome Libra. Let's take a look at your cards and messages and just take what resonates for you and leave the rest. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your first few cards here. Okay. So we have the symbol of the hand. So perhaps you are in need of help or assistance or guidance, or perhaps you are giving this and offering this service or this helping hand to someone in need at the moment. Let's see how that resonates for you. Maybe there's something going on with your hands. Maybe you're a craftsperson. Maybe you're making something with your hands. Now, there may be depression or anxiety, worry that someone is against you. Maybe you know of this person, you expect or understand that someone does not have your best interest at heart. And there may be emotions that are going along with this um, relationship, the complexity that's happening here. Now, the fox represents shrewdness and resourcefulness. So even though you have a difficulty here with the vulture, you're going to come out of this and you have an understanding of it. You're going to come out of this because of your resourcefulness, because of, because of your experience, your knowledge, because of what you're doing right now. Now, the fox symbolically um, represents business a lot of the time. So perhaps business, work, career, there's something going on here where you are having to be quite resourceful. The wishbone, a wish is granted. Has a wish come true recently? Yes, perhaps an unexpected blessing has landed in your life. A big change happening, perhaps. A positive change. Perhaps with a man or a masculine energy, masculine person, dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, gray or white hair, perhaps. And the axe, there are forces working against you. This goes back to the vulture card. Someone is working against you. The axe, you know, forces working against you. There's something like that you will know if this resonates for you. And then we have the wind chimes, a beautiful energy because after difficulty in a relationship or someone working against you, there's peace and harmony. Perhaps at this time you are in this a beautiful energy and vibration of peace and harmony in your life. You're feeling more settled. Perhaps you are ready to embark on an adventure. I savor the wonders of the world. Yeah, so you could be traveling at the moment or maybe you're about to embark on some new, maybe it is travel, but a new, uh, a new adventure, a new journey of some kind, starting a new project, a new study, something like this perhaps. Revealing radiance. My light illuminates the world. Beautiful affirmation here if you want to use that. Now, revealing your radiance, so coming out of your shell to shine brightly. You know, there may be a situation where you did not think that you had enough bravery or courage or uh, that you were not going to stand out and shine, but as a matter of fact, you did, and you are. And your radiance is being revealed. And we have another message here about journeying, launching your journey. What does this mean for you specifically? I am an intrepid traveler sailing forth into the universe. So you are, yes, it can symbolize actual travel. You're about to launch into your journey. You're about to sail forth in a new venture. It might be to do with your professional life. Or maybe your personal life. Maybe you're starting a new relationship or about to launch into some new creative project. It is important to proceed softly. My inner power grows in moments of quietude. So there's, yes, a need for 
quietness, alone time. Yeah, you will know if this resonates for you. You'll know if this is what is needed or where you are at at the moment. Allow yourself to receive. Allow yourself to receive. There is hmm, perhaps a, a message, news. There's some, uh, maybe you're waiting on some word and you're, uh, yes, you're allowing yourself to be open to receive whatever message is on the way. But see how this resonates for you specifically. Allowing yourself to receive. It could be in alignment here with peace and harmony. Allowing yourself peace and harmony or allowing yourself space or to proceed softly. Or to go deeper, allowing yourself to go deeper. Maybe into research about someone or part of a relationship you're involved in. Maybe it's to do with study. Going deeper. How does this resonate for you? Might be connected to peace and harmony. Ignite your passion. Perhaps going deeper is about igniting or understanding your true passions and the next step you're going to take in alignment with this passion. Practice patience. Perhaps there is a need, a need at the moment to practice patience, even though it may be frustrating for you. Maybe it's not frustrating at all. You know, for this uh, particular set of circumstances, you might recognize that patience is a virtue and it is serving you well. Learning from the past. So perhaps there's reflection on the past or something happening uh, connected to your past directly an interaction with someone or someone from your past contacting you or um, maybe an experience from the past you're now reliving it or you're reflecting upon it there is always enough so there is no, no need for lack or thinking about not having enough. There is always enough. Embrace the in-between. Perhaps you are in a spot at the moment where you're in between things, in between jobs, in between relationships. It's a transitory phase, perhaps. How does that resonate for you? Hmm, interesting. Trust in divine detours. Perhaps you're needing to be flexible. Perhaps you're needing to go with the flow a little bit and, and not put up so much resistance in some respect and, and trust that there is a detour, a change of plans that you're needing to incorporate into your life in a positive way. The Seven of Cups represents things being up in the air. So perhaps you have a choice or a decision and you haven't fully committed yet. So there isn't a full commitment. Perhaps that's why you're needing to go deeper, to do more research or to understand your emotions before you can, or understand your options before you can make a choice. The Four of Swords. So this is about a quietening the mind, relaxation, being a bit like the sloth here. So this is just taking things easy, proceeding softly, kind of going into that card and that message. There may be a withdrawal of communication or limited contact with someone. The Six of Swords, moving from troubled waters and difficulties, especially to do with communication with someone, into a more successful and harmonious situation. The Seven of Swords, this can mean that someone is um, 
I would say taking away or something has been taken away from you. Um, And it may seem like a harsh thing, a bad thing, but actually it is a blessing in disguise that this person, place, situation, job, whatever it is, that's been removed from your life. Um, All that you have seemingly lost is in fact, it's, it's a good thing. And you're maybe recognizing that at this point. Now, the two of cups is union, connection, a partnership. And your final card is the Six of Pentacles, togetherness. Um, So maybe there's an event or connections being made, networking with others. Mm, And this is about fairness and balance as well. So things have been out of balance or an unfairness has happened. We have equal, you're you're on equal footing um, as fairness and justice that is being shown here. Maybe you are looking for fairness or you're, you hold, you're holding that intention for your life in some way. Let's see how that resonates for your situation. It could be that with the pentacles, you are balancing out your finances and your, your money. It's been wonderful to read for you today. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.